Hey, welcome to Butcher Bay Rejects. I'm Mark. I'm Greg. What's up this week, nerds? How you doing, bud? How you doing? Butcher Bay all the way. Uh, a little quiet week this week. Yeah, got uncomfortably warm weather, so got to get do this and get out there and enjoy that, right? <laughs> do some drone flying, I imagine. Uh, actually, I got work to do here, so got to get got to get stuff done. All right. Let's do the first uh, first bit of this, uh, House of Dragon, the penultimate episode, episode nine, The Green Council, and your favorite show in the world, Andor, episode seven, <laughs> all the announcement, and Survivor, episode five, stop with all the nicest, niceness. So, wow, House of Dragon, I'm going to try not to talk about the ending right away and get into the beginning. So, uh, basically, the king dies, we understand he, he, he thought he was answering his daughter, Alicent says, hey, he left us a gift. He said, Aegon should be on the throne. And that's setting course uh, thousands of deaths to come in the Dance of Dragon, which will be next season. What do you think of this episode? Oh, God, just family drama. Yeah, but with life and death stakes, though. <laughs> hey, they're always life and death stakes. It's just a matter of perspective. <laughs> well, I don't think your cousin's bringing, bringing a battle axe to Christmas dinner, right? I mean... Actually, one of my cousins would. Oh, really? Okay. okay. <laughs> one in every family, then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, uh, you, you know, you, you had to know that this was coming down to a lot of he said, she said uh, kind of stuff. And, I mean, we haven't even seen Daenerys' reaction to all this, right? So. Rhaenyra, you mean? Rhaenyra, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's what. Uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen next. Uh, she's told the treason, and actually, one of the guys on the you know the, the small council, Lord Lyman Be- uh, Beesbury, tried to. He's basically said this is treason, and what did he get for his effort? As uh, Sir Kristen bashed his skull into the table. <laughs> so um, we can see where this is going. You're going to have one side, you know, for uh, Aegon, and the other side for Rhaenyra. And uh, man, uh, did you see the trailer for? No, I didn't see the trailer for the next one. Kind of Ooh, keeping it. Some... Uh... Okay, I won't say anything. But you know, this pits brother against brother and family against family. And oh yeah, well we saw we dragon saw we saw a lot, a lot of that because <laughs> Aegon just was just a just a wuss and a half. Yeah, he uh, for a guy that really didn't want the throne when he grabbed his father's sword, boy, you can tell he really got into that, right? Well, wait a minute, I'm king, I can do whatever I want. Everyone's <laughs> cheering me. <laughs> yeah, that yeah! Didn't take, take him long to change his uh, change his mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know the, that's just it, right? It's it's the that that taste of power, like once you get it, it's like. No, I don't want the response. I don't want to be king. I don't want to whiny, whiny, whiny brat. And then all of a sudden, like everyone's cheering for him. Everyone's giving him validation because that's one of the things he didn't have, right? Was the validation from his father or he felt like he didn't because he named his sister queen, you know, the, so there was, there was like that sibling rivalry aspect of things. Right. And then everyone started cheering for him and like, you know, you got that, you love me, you love me uh, yeah, I, I just have moment, to thrust, you know? up my, thrust up my sword and they applaud. Uh, and maybe I'll do it again, see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, what's, so. what's, what's with the 10-year-old fight club and flea bottom? Jesus, I mean. Oh, really? well, Come they on. had to have something to, t- you know, something to, <sighs> to, to, to really make people go, oh, God, really? They didn't do that. The, the twin brothers spotted a... A little blonde-haired kid in there. Gee, I wonder who his father is. Okay. Hang on. Just banging away. The old bastards are, are, are just coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, and of course, Otto Hightower basically knows what he should do. He has to kill Rhaenyra and all her family. But Alice Oh, he didn't like, waste well, time, did he? Eh? I don't think we should kill them. And he's like, really? Uh, and of course, we all know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't waste time, did he, right? It's like... No, no, oh, my, yeah. my grandson will be king, and that will be that, and I will be elevated to yeah. a higher power, and blah, 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 blah. You know, like, he was, you know, everyone was just, Marie, Marie Antoinette, that, off with their heads. You know, like, yeah. well, he yeah. he did not hesitate one iota to secure the castle, secure the city, make sure that no one, you know. Well, yes, which brings us to our MVP of this week, Rhaenys, the queen who never was. Basically, they 
you know, oh. want to get her on her side. And man, at the, did you think like at that very ending when that exploded? I thought it was like wildfire. Did you think something like where the hell did they get dynamite? Did you think that's what it was? Uh, oh, I knew it was the dragon coming through. Oh, not not me. So, uh, side note, remember uh, Aegon's sister who keeps, you know, the one who was staring at the spider and keeps saying nonsensical stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What she's saying is actually she's uh, she's like, she can f- kind of foresee the future. She kept muttering about the beast beneath the boards, and guess what? <laughs> so she's she's got some kind of gift, though, which the king had as well, so she, she can see. So what she was muttering wasn't all useless information. <laughs> it was yeah. actually what was going to happen. See, I, she, I I thought we were we were gonna have a, a red wedding repeat, and she was just well, gonna torch that whole. Yes, as she should have, but she showed restraint, which now to me finally, in a way, justifies his uh, Daenerys when she just let you know burnt everyone the fuck to Chris because she mm-hmm. knows she, everyone knows the history. She knows her own family history. It's all in the books. So yeah, she said, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna let them go ancestor did but yeah man, did she look good in her armor and whatnot oh yeah yeah no like like i said when they, when the dragon pulled up and whatnot, and then she's just just looking at the at the at the stage and i'm like oh man we're just roast yeah, the whole the, say all it, of them say the d word <laughs> <laughs> just roast them and, roast and them that dragon which was a beautiful red and of course that dragon is called the red queen i mean uh you know, name is Melly's, but the, yeah. AKA the Red Queen. And man, what a beautiful looking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I was just sitting there just going, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah. if she had, she had torched them. She would have solved, like, uh, saved countless lives, thousands, literally thousands of lives if she had just did that. Yeah. But she didn't well, Rhaenyra's would have, would, have, would have ascended, but then would there have been a. Um, well, for sure, but she would have got... Power a struggle well, between her and Rhaenyra's? Well, she would have got all, all the main characters, though, in one blast, though, if you think. I know. I, I mean, know. sure, but they would have had the upper hand. But know? that would have been such a Game of Thrones thing to do. Yes. <laughs> I wanted her so bad to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but then we would have had a season two if she did, so... <laughs> well, can you imagine what they would have done with season two? Well, I, I know where they're, where they're going anyway. It's going to be good, but... Yeah. Um, Especially this finale, uh, which you know, as we record, it's Sunday, so we're gonna have to wait yeah. to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, baby, stay tuned for next week. <laughs> All uh, right, Andor. Yikes. Um, so I kind of feel weird when they go to like a beach resort in a sci-fi show. I, I don't know about <laughs> you. It just feels out of touch. At any rate. Uh, you know, Andor makes his way back home, and for seemingly the town crawling with stormtroopers, he never really encounters one when he goes to see his mom or his ex girlfriend. You know, <laughs> he always seems to, he always seems to be getting in and out just fine. You know, without the despite the imperial presence. Well, you know what? I, like I said, the 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 uh, the more this this show goes on, the more I ask, why do we have this show? Yeah. Well, we got one got one good episode last week, but I think we're back to the. Uh, well, I mean, Cassian. For, correct me if I'm wrong. Cassian uh, dies in Rogue One, right? As, a, uh, as a, yes, at the end. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically, we're telling the story of the guy that dies in the movie. Yes. Why? Oh, I guess they thought there was a story there, you know, to see how you know. Sure, we Rogue One picks up with you know, basically the heist of the Death Star plans, but to see how that, how he accomplished it and how he became Cassian Andor, this is what these uh, two seasons are going to be for. Yeah. Now. Disney, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he does. I know. We'll, 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 we'll whip through this. There's, there's, there's a lot of people that really don't care. I, I, all I liked was that, which normally was a six month sentence, which he got from basically being innocent, turned into six years. So I guess we know where this is going. Guess who's going to bail him out, right? And then he'll be indebted to him forever, right? I mean, well, I mean, they, they can go. There's there's all kinds of ways to go. I mean, just, but I mean, the whole. Um, Imperial stormtroopers coming through, and they're like, didn't matter what he said, they were arresting him. You know, like, you pissed me off. I'm taking yeah, you in. We saw a bit of a K2SO there. Uh, 
Yeah. No, like I said, it, it, I, like watching this whole thing, and I'm just like, this has no point whatsoever. In the Star Wars universe, okay, we we're doing the story about the guy that helped steal the Death Star plans. Uh, yeah, okay, but they're they're not making it exciting though. Like I don't find Diego Luna all that charismatic. You know what I mean? Like, oh, no, no, I, I I find he he. Yeah, I, to, I like to him me, better to, in Narco. I like him better in Narcos. Narcos, he was very good. Yeah, but I mean, he he fits Narcos, you know, he's a Latin type of like a thing, but to me, like he's got no charisma in this in this show, right? He's just trying to hide and get away and hide and get away and hide and get away, you know. Like there's, uh, I don't know. To me, it's not a good character. It's not a good story. They they just, yeah. Let's move on to Survivor, which hopefully you like more. By the way, only five episodes left of Andor. That should please you. (laughs) Past the halfway point. Let's just crawl through that. (laughs) Tooth and nail. So I guess uh, the girls finally figured out that we should vote off a dude here, and Geo got sent home. Um, Before that, Ryan, oh boy, Ryan probably... Two, thing, two things, guys, when you go in Survivor, not to do. Don't ever, ever, ever throw a challenge, okay? Mm-hmm. And number two, don't tell people to put the votes on you because, you know what, they might go, hey, well, he did tell us to put the votes on him. <laughs> he they said can so. Turn on you. Yeah, <laughs> they could always turn on you, so yikes. I don't know how that guy got on Survivor, but whatever. At any rate, Geo's one that, one that went home, ending the, uh, the women <laughs> constantly leaving every week. But, um, yeah, and he yeah. didn't see that coming. No, 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 no. Yeah, he, which is, again, if everything seems fine, that's when your spidey sense should be tingling, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel anything. Everything's fine. Oh, shoot, they're voting me out. Okay, that should be your next thought. <laughs> yeah, and the four-man team is coming up hard. Yeah, that's right. You know, Cody is uh, sort of leading that team uh, physically to get things done, and they're doing yeah. it. Yeah. And then um, when the girls found the beware advantage, uh, for once they actually found out just after they she got all the beads that it was <laughs> it was for a challenge, and they felt pretty dumb. Mm. I think, yeah, Gilbert wanted to keep one for his daughter. Oh yeah, like like that that for, anybody asks you for anything on Survivor, no. Yeah, from now on, yeah, no, everyone's gonna. They can't do that again. Everyone's gonna be like, no, 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 no that challenge is that. That's yeah. burnt. That's burnt. No, you know, anybody. I need, I need this rock. <laughs> Go get your own rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's it's uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's gonna be no more, no more of that. I mean, I need your like. Well, obviously, that's happened in all three camps, right? That's happened in all three camps. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So Cody had immunity. Does he still have it? Is that still active? Uh, or was that good for just two challenges? Yeah, good question. Can't remember that one. You know, he's got one. Uh, what's her name has one on Coco, and you know now uh, Scar Girl. Scar Girl. <laughs> member of the JLA. <laughs> Scar girl. Scar girl. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just self mutilation. No. Um <laughs> That's right. No. But I mean like like I said there there's not a lot going on with regards to too much planning. Like they're really keeping it low key. Yeah, no one's to me making any uh, any big moves yet still early on but uh, looks like judging by the trailer next week may or may not be emerged i'm not sure but well once it once they put put them all together then it becomes that now now it becomes a scramble right so it's like uh then it's gonna be uh, it becomes a whole new game once they bring everything everybody together because all the past alliances all that working and 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 stuff is gonna go right out the window and I think we're going to see a lot more um, 
I guess you could say, tactics from Cody. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, the way he sold everybody when he was when he went visit went visiting to pick up stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing how he kind of rolls it out for everybody else. You know. That's right. He's gonna be that wild card. So, no, well, no. Other than that, not a whole hell of a lot going on. No. Well, we did have some major news, and I think it's officially confirmed, so we'll say it. Harrison Ford officially cast as General Thunderbolt Ross for Captain America. Mm. New World Order. Now, as much as I love Harrison, I think, I don't know, you tell me what you think. I think as much as I hate Ang Lee's Hulk moving, uh, Hulk movie, I think Sam Elliott would have been a good choice, right, since he played him already. Yeah, what do you think, I think, do you going, think about that? Going back to to Sam Elliott would have been a good good move. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, Har- bringing Harrison Ford in. Okay, Harrison Ford is now part of the Marvel universe. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, Sam Elliott does have a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit more hard ass, I guess you could say. Yeah. Where Harrison got, Ford's been tough, right? He's got that, got that voice, right? He's been tough, but he's he's never be, had to be a hard ass. He's never had to be like that that uh, unyielding. Well, well, I guess Indiana Jones is unyielding, but uh, you know what I mean, right? That that mm-hmm. that that I b- so believe in what I believe that no one can tell me what what difference can be you know that was general thunderbolt ross i mean he was he was completely and utterly convinced the hulk is bad needs to be destroyed it doesn't matter how much good he he's done he's still you know he's still a loose 20 megaton bomb you know and yeah sam elliott played that really 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 well and he looks like a marine too. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, and you want you all you want all your generals to have that gravelly voice, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, uh, best voice, best voice in the biz. <laughs> you know, I mean, he, Harrison Ford was in the Expendables, and he, he, you know, he was still uh, he had a he he still had he had that commanding thing in in there, but it was more tongue in cheek. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he just shot for a day. So yeah, Willis didn't want it, so he. Did it for a million dollars. They blocked all the shots. So really, yeah, it was just there for a day. But um, this one, yeah, I mean, there's no way because he knows he's he's at the end of Indiana, Indiana Jones, so he figures to stay relevant. You know, what the next slide. Oh, I mean, you know, if you're if you're getting on as Thunderbolt Ross, uh, which, to which eventually Red Hulk will come out of. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see Harrison Ford's face on Red Hulk. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, like. <laughs> oh, this is a, uh, I want. I, you know, I, I wonder how much how much of the fighting mocap uh, Mark Ruffalo did, and yeah. like, okay, is Harrison Ford up for that? Yeah, he the, you know, dislocated his shoulder on the set of the latest Indiana Jones movie, so yeah, he can't. You know, he's not yeah. be able to do much. Uh, yeah, I I mean it's it's all physical pounding, right? Like you just. Yeah swinging away but i mean um uh, yeah. harrison ford is how old now he's 76 nine something like that you know even 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 uh, in, in, uh, as a hollywood's in his 70s you still can only do so much actually sorry he's 80 years old he turned 80 in july sorry. okay so <laughs> you know i mean Connery pushed it for a while, which is weird because William Hurt died at seventy-one. If you think about it, you know, like this guy's nine years older than Hurt and still kicking. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, I obviously with Harrison Ford's acting talents is going to bring something to the character that we're all going to sit there and go, "Oh shit, yes, okay, go for it," you know. But it's still that 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 first uh, that first thing, right? So yeah, let's talk some Titan season four trailer. So oh. it looks like Titus Welliver is uh, Lex Luthor, and uh, yeah, they're sticking uh, sticking in Star Girl. 
Dark Vader as well for the next season. The next season will be 12 episodes, but they're splitting it into six and six. So uh, it'll still come out on November 3rd, but we're only going to get six episodes to start. Well, once a week, and then, but it'll be 12 in total. Yeah, they're sticking. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to see the trailer, but and they, they're putting oh. Stargirl in? Yeah. Yeah, and it, look, and it looks like this one is more of a, um, I'm not going to say horror-ish vibe, but um, I guess they're moving. I guess they're in Tegan Croft's territory as Raven, you know? It looks to me mm-hmm. a little more. Of course, uh, Franca Potente from uh, Born, uh, Born Movies is playing Mother Mayhem. You got Brother Blood in there, so. Uh, so they're bringing Stargirl from the Stargirl TV yep. show into Titans. Yeah, Courtney Whitmore, yeah. Uh, guest starring like uh, mm. along with Titus Oliver's like Sleuther. Uh, but so it's good again. Yeah, so I'm like, guessing a little Superboy centric, considering yeah, Lex yeah, Luthor figured, is supposed uh, to be the yeah, he, yeah, he figured prominently in the in the trailer they were even dropping Superman's relationship with Lex, and I was like, mm, yeah, this. Uh, I mean, Titans has always been a solid show, so. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to all of it all over the, <laughs> every time all the time Titans go. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if I get it on HBO Max when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I wonder wonder how when they start bringing Cyborg in. Yeah, yeah. Get Ray yeah. Fisher. <laughs> and also, uh, Deathstroke will also appear in the fourth season as well. Well, wasn't he already in? Well, I, I can't remember. Uh, I mean, I know he was in, but I'm, I I lose track of seasons. Uh, like, well, Nightwing I, Nightwing defeated him in ago. the last season. Yeah. Well, he's he's said to be uh, appearing, so that could be either in flashback, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or was he locked away somewhere now? I mean, <laughs> uh, probably locked away. Probably locked away. But uh, that starts November eleventh. Third. November 3rd. Third. Yeah. Comes out the same day as uh, the Blockbuster show on Netflix. About the last Blockbuster <laughs> in America. That looked funny. Yeah, it's worth a look. You know, I mean, um, as someone who's worked in several video stores, it's kind of uh, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I had that happen. Oh, yeah, I've had that happen. Oh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah. I listened to uh, Quentin Tarantino's podcast. So basically, when him and Roger Avery worked in video archives in Los Angeles before they were filmmakers, so what their podcast is that he, when that store went out of business, Quentin Tarantino bought every single VHS uh, cassette and a lot of the shelves, and he put it in his house. So really, a movie, yeah, they pick a movie that they used to rent out to people, like Switchblade Sisters, whatever, and then they they talk about it. They do not talk about current movies, so it's kind of weird, you know, that they. They'll talk about Coma and The Spy Who Loved Me. So it's yeah, yeah. the only review movies that they were actually giving out to customers. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. That's kind of brilliant. That's kind of like keeps yeah, the nostalgia alive, see, right? Yeah, uh, want to see the movies that they're talking about. Yeah, you know? well, that's just it. That's the one thing you don't have nowadays um, is the ability to walk into the into the store and browse through the movies, read the back yeah. covers, you know, see the cover and go, what's that? And I could, I could do that for hours. Oh, I yeah. Did do, I did do that for hours. Yeah, same here. Same here. So it's kind of like, yeah, no, this is this is what, what going the experience of going to the video store is. And it was even better in the mom and pop shops because they got really the, you know, because they had to go cheap, they had to go the really obscure stuff, right? They can only get so many of the really popular stuff, so they they balance that out by buying a lot of the really obscure shit. And you're just sitting there, guy, going through all sorts of things and finding, you know, some big actor's first movie, and it was just a tanker, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. I mean, their review of a, uh, you know, um, what was the James Bond movie when he goes to space? Uh, Moonraker. 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 Yeah was so preposterous that I actually started watching it again because they were talking about a scene in uh, Venice where a pigeon does a double take on the camera. And I, no, no, it didn't. And there, sure enough, I watched <laughs> the movie and, and they actually had a pigeon doing a double take when this chase was going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but like I said, you, you sit there and you go through and you see all the really bad B-movies. and But they're, 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 a lot of them are just so bad, they're, 
they're wonderful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. So bad they're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just it. That's that's the, that. And that was always the beauty of it, right? You rent like you think you're renting like a stinker, and next thing you know, you're just like, okay, I got to rewatch that because I liked it. <laughs> you know? Uh yeah. Oh, I so miss. Uh, makes you wish they, you know someone would open a video store again just for just for the fun actually of it. yeah yeah you know what it would be crazy you charge a little little admission you don't rent out anything but everything is in there i, I would probably do it <laughs> yeah. just to experience it or think about it you, you know you could sell your your popcorn and whatnot but the, the movies are just there to look at <laughs> you're offering nostalgia you, 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 you know. don't even have to buy the movies you just yes you know well make it a pop-up store well, that would work you know just Who just you, you know you buy a whole bunch of of uh of uh, movie boxes download the covers and just print them out and put them up yeah yeah oh man Trip back to yesteryear <laughs> uh, you know what's funny uh, that's 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 that a video store is going to be a display in a yesteryear uh, pavilion. Yeah, people not knowing what it is. What is it? You guys did what? People actually went to stores to get movies? You had to rewind what? And there was a fee <laughs> if you didn't? What? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, no one would believe you. Oh, Dear my God. <laughs> yeah. And it was funny, you know, back then, you, you, you get onto all these sort of tricks – and muscle movement of, of checking the videos you know you you pop open the case boom boom slam the two the two things together it's rewound okay good duh, duh, and then you, you hit use the the thing to demagnetize the magnet so that it can go through the door without being uh without setting off the alarm and uh yeah <laughs> you got to know all the all the movies uh codes by heart so you're just because you're tapping it in so many times over and over and over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, the keyboard is just da -da 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 -da. you look, you know, you look, you look almost like a like a magician. You know, like sleight of hand. Everything it's just like bam, 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 bam. You know, musician on a keyboard. It's the same thing. <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, no. no. And, uh, my last piece of news is to next week we'll have a review of, I guess, the first episode of Tales of the Jedi, which will be premiering on Disney Plus, and it will be short stories uh, from the Star Wars prequel trilogy era. And uh, you're going to get your Corey Burton voices, uh, Ian McDermott, Liam Neeson's reprising his voice yeah. roles, Quinn John, and of course Clancy Brown is the Inquisitor. <laughs> All right. When's Bad Batch starting? Bad Batch? That should we be soon, have... isn't it? Well, no, it's in January. Uh, um, January. They haven't released the date yet, but January 2023. That'll be right. 16 episodes. But right. well, I'm sure Disney will release Tales of the Jedi one at a time, I'm guessing. But yeah. uh, we'll have a review of that for you guys next week. And that is all I got, uh, sir. Also, we can send out a, a big happy birthday to Van City himself, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, glad you brought that up. Okay. Yes, happy birthday. So uh, just I've been watching two shows on um, Disney Plus. One is Reboot. Mm -hmm. okay. A very funny show, actually, you might like. With, uh, it even has Johnny <laughs> Johnny um, Knoxville, of all people, in it. It's basically because it's about a, shoot, a show that was on in the 90s and they reboot it. You know, Keegan, Keegan Michael Key is in it. Johnny Knoxville. It's a, it's a sitcom. Right, right, hilarious. right, right. Yeah, and I've seen the... For you especially, uh, if you want some Ted Lasso vibes before the next show comes up, I've been actually been watching welcome to Wrexham and I think you would like it if you like Ted Lasso you should like this show so it's uh, 18 episodes okay but they're not all they're not all like an hour some are 32 minutes some are 22 minutes but uh is that on yeah. Disney as well uh yes yes uh, so if you watch that we can talk about that next week uh, sure we got two episodes left but it's uh, very very good very well done and yeah. I think they just got a season two no I was just and, uh, the, the uh, whole birthday thing is because I uh, on Twitter yeah, Hugh Jackman <laughs> sitting in front of two sketches, like nice artistic sketches of Ryan, Ryan Reynolds holding a cupcake with a candle in it. And yeah. he's like, and you know, I'm the best at what I do, and what I do is not nice. You know, like, <laughs> total Wolverine. Yeah. Like, I cannot wait to see these two together. Well, I know, doing posts like that just make the longing worse you know like uh like they they really have to make 
Deadpool like a buddy cop thing. Him and Wolverine stuck together, mm-hmm. having to do something, getting on it. Well, Deadpool getting on Wolverine's nerves. Yeah. You know, I mean, sort of like the way him and Colossus yeah. were in the in the first two. You know, like yeah, yeah, and killing him, and he comes back to life. You know, <laughs> just to shut him up. Yeah, yeah, just pop the claws <laughs> through his head, and then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wakes up singing the same song on that road trip (laughs) just call me angel of the snickety snick (laughs) listen up faggy faggy we're 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 writing your stuff oh yeah we're spinning we're spinning gold here someone write this down actually i I don't think i don't think faggy really has much choice in the writing with ryan reynolds going he's like i I can't top that i'm let him do his thing that's right you know (laughs) He he's hit gold with two movies back to back as Deadpool. No, we're not gonna get in his way. Let him do it. You know, and I'm sure if any executive at Disney or Marvel says, "Well, maybe we should shut up," but you could no shut up. <laughs> if but if he just knew, let him be. <laughs> you know, I wish they'd do it that more often with certain. With a lot of projects, just leave it alone. Let them do it. Let them do their thing, and boom, it's all good. Ugh. All right, sir, you want to bring us home? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the only other thing I can think of uh, is Fort Nightmares has started. Yep. I just bought my ash skin, so yeah. I'm all set. So did you, did you pick zombies. up Black a- Black Adam as well? Uh, no. No, no, I passed on. I bought the X twenty three, but I didn't pass on Black Adam. I mean, you'll always be back in the shop at one point. So, mm. but uh, I bought Ash. No, I just want to have the foundation and Black Adam looking at each other doing the Spider Man meme. Yep. Got <laughs> to get Superman in there. <laughs> now we'll have to. <laughs> All right. Gang, thank you for listening. This has been Butcher Bay Rejects. I'm Mark. I'm Greg. See you next week, nerds. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. You can find us on all our social media. You can search Butcher Bay Rejects on YouTube, at Bay Rejects on Twitter, at Butcher Bay Rejects on Facebook, as well as at Butcher Bay Rejects on TikTok. You can also find us on our website, butcherbayrejects.com and you can find us on all the podcast platforms apple podcast google podcast spotify amazon music alexa tune in iheart radio and pandora thank you for listening and tune in again 